Good afternoon, Steve Reed in Chicago. Um, we've had the USDA report and they're always full of surprises. Uh, the USDA lowered the U.S. corn crop to a little bit above 13.7 billion bushels uh, versus an average guess closer to 14 billion. The yield was 154.4. Uh, the USDA lowered demand only about 50 million bushels and has it carry out a little bit above 1.8 billion. Uh, that's still uh, an added carry out versus last year and still could pressure prices into harvest. But we, had a di we did have a knee jerk reaction and we'll have to be watching pretty closely the market because the funds do have a record short. Uh, also, over in the beans, they lowered the crop more than expected, down to 3.255 million bushels, and that's a yield of. Um, about 42.4 or 5, and they lowered the carryout to 220 after taking up almost 90 million bushels off the demand side of things. Uh, they did raise the average uh, farm price about 70 cents to around 1140, and uh, still lower than where we are right now in the November futures. But uh, the crop did get smaller, and August is still an important month for beans, whether we can add or subtract from this number. But it was a big surprise when they came out with the yield that small. Over in the wheat, they raised world wheat crop 7 million metric tons, mostly in the former Soviet Union and Europe. They raised world trade 5 million tons. So there's not a lot of bullish news in the wheat market, uh, but wheat will probably continue to follow, especially in the corn market. So again, USDA numbers, this year's 2013 corn and, and soybean crops lower than the trade had expected. Uh, we've got beans anywhere up from 35 to 36 cents, corn up uh, 3 to 4 cents after being at one time 10 to 11 cents higher, and wheat's about unchanged. As always, these are my thoughts and not those of ADM or ADM Investor Services, and have a safe and profitable trading day.